Hello YouTube, I am back. Uh, this episode will be updated today as well as the same day as my last episode. Reason for that because I am not gonna freaking wait tomorrow to upload the boss battle. So yeah, there we go. All right, so right now we are going to face off into one of the most hardest boss in my opinion, as a classic classic Sonic without uh, the use of a special ability he'll acquire later. But besides that, let's move on to the next cutscene. Actually, no, there's no cutscene. <laughs> All right, Big Arm is basically the boss of Sonic 3, not Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Sonic 3, and he is the hardest classic boss in my opinion. If you can manage to get him four hits and hit him again, oh, I missed. Uh, there is a way you can get S rank, and the only way to do that is by uh, using that further ability. But besides that, I think we're gonna get either a B or an A rank because I missed a hit. Uh, the music for this boss is very similar to the original version. The only thing though is I love this freaking remix. It's awesome as hell. I like that guitar. No, I like that guitar solo they did it for the theme. You know what? I'm gonna let you guys hear the theme. So, get ready. Oh no, wow, like I said before, um, I will almost like, I will leave a description on where you can hear the song better in a better format without all the stuff going in the background. Besides that, this theme is amazing, I love this recreation of the original Genesis theme. Um, I'm gonna, I've been saying a lot that for all of my videos that I'm gonna be leave a link and I'm gonna, um, put two descriptions. One is for the last video me mentioning that I was going to uh, show you that one channel for... Ah, I'm sorry guys, hi. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to leave a description, um, a link description in the description because I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I was going to uh, show you guys the channel of a friend of mine making uh, remixes for themes and he did not make this one sadly. I would freaking been his number one fan if he made this one though. But besides that, um, he makes themes, remixes for certain games, and I am gonna ask him how he does not get sued by Nintendo by copywriting his themes. I doubt it though, he's just parodying, so basically, it's not necessarily using his copyrights because I, he also leaves, like I do, I leave the, in the description, I leave the, um, the copyright to the company, and I don't want to get sued, honestly. So, thank you for not suing me, Nintendo, so far. Uh, I'll gladly uh, be putting ads for your video games. I love your games. Uh, especially 3D World. 3D World is the best game I could play. But anyways, we got a cutscene here. Uh, so, yeah. Ah! <coughs> and Sonic tries to go save the day. Tries to save him. It just tries to represent as much to the... Uh, to the uh, PS3, Xbox, and PC title, but like it's, it's just like basically Sonic Colors with the whole uh, character models. But besides that, we see Time Eater once more. What? No! No! Sonic, save me! Wah! And Sonic tries to spring into action, but he was too late. And besides that, Sonic 
meet his past. He missed his childhood. I am surprised the guys and Sega actually put it two models right next to each other so you can uh, compare them. And oh my God, they're really different. Anyways, I can't believe there's two of me. And as you can see, Sonic does not speak. He is mute. Reason for that is he never had a voice actor in the past series. Only modern Sonic has and Tails, but I don't know why. And there's a second Tails, and I don't know why he can talk. But besides that, enough. And two of Tails too. Doubles of us. Doubles of both of us. Places and enemies from our past. We're traveling through time and space. How did this happen? I think it's got something to do with that bit thing that just kidnapped Eggman. It sounds like the same thing that kidnapped you. I mean, me. I mean, you know what I mean. And then, Time Eater appears once more. Be careful, Sonic! There it is. And then, yeah. Time Eater. Huh? Where did it go? We need to find that thing fast. But besides that, um, yeah. Sonic sees this bad Nick, so he tries. Um, modern Sonic comes in. He says, "Leave this to me." Ha! Not done yet. Ha! Ha! He just repeats that a lot. But now you see modern Sonic, classic Sonic, he's really happy about that. That move's called the homing attack. Want to give it a try? And in the PS3, Xbox 360, and the PC title, uh, the homing attack wasn't unlockable in when you get, like, I think, all the star, red star rings. And what happens is you get purchased the ability in the skill shop. In this game, Classic Sonic immediately learns it after just observing Modern Sonic. It's like, that. hey, not bad at all. So, yeah, it's hard to believe that it's your first time trying it. Now that you can do that, it might be fun to go back to places you've already been. So what else you can find? Oh. Whoa, what? Oh boy. But besides that, um, we unlocked my favorite stage of all time for the 3DS version. The PS3 version, my favorite stage is obviously City Escape because I love Sonic Adventure 2 to death. But in the next episode, we are going off into Mystery Zone number 4, aka my favorite stage, Emerald Coast. Till then, uh, like, comment, and subscribe my channel, and have a safe night. Alright, it has been a Pocket Gamer saying good night.